have full manual controls within the Smart Remote Control Camera app, you need to update it. To update it, you need the latest firmware, and to get the firmware, you need an account with Sony Play Memories. So type in Sony Play Memories Remote Control App Download. Go to Play Memories Camera App, a camera application download service. And now you're with Sony where you can create the account. You can check this list before you do that to see whether in your country the service is available. I'm from Germany, it's available, so I'm going to create my account. This is a regular account creation where you type in some info, set your password and get your login ID. Then just show them you're not a robot and you're good to go. I do not want any additional information from Sony via email, I just want to create my account. The account now is created, all you got to do is confirm it via email. So hit up your email account, go to the email and click verify now. And voila, you have your account with Sony Play Memories. Now to get the firmware, open your browser, type in support for ILCE 5100 Sony. The first result usually is what we need. Here you can see the latest firmware for Mac or Windows, just click the one that is appropriate for you. This screen tells you all about the installation process. It is unnecessary to read all this because the firmware update or visit is pretty self-explanatory. All you got to do is scroll down, check this last box and hit download. Depending on how fast your internet connection is, this might take you a while because the file is just shy of 200 megabytes. Once it's downloaded, execute the file and now the firmware update or visit will tell you exactly what you have to do. One word of advice though, before you update your firmware, and this is important, make sure you use a fully charged battery because the firmware update must not be interrupted. To install the smart remote control app, use either Google Chrome or the Internet Explorer. Enter Sony Play Memories app into Google search and hit the first result. Then sign into your account that you've created before. Scroll down and select the model ILCE 5000. Then select Smart Remote Control. On the left side, click Install. You're gonna have to install a little piece of software or it'll be finished really quickly. After this is done, hit the Refresh and Continue button. To get the firmware, you need an account with software. You're now ready to connect the camera to the PC. Go to USB Connection and select MTP and for USB LUN setting, select Single. Now connect the camera to your PC via a USB cable. Sony, where you can create the account. You can no, don't show this again. Okay. See whether in your country. Now hit check connection. Available, so I'm gonna create my account. This is a rec. And the download of the app will begin. Info, set your password. Just let camera and PC do their thing until they're done. And you're good to go. I do not want any additional information from Once the installation is done, hit OK and disconnect your camera. The account now is created. If you then go to the menu, go to Application, Applications List, you'll see the full version of the Smart Remote Control app. You now have complete manual controls over the camera via any device that runs the app. To connect your Alpha 5100 to the device of your choice, just start up that device have the Play Memories app installed and run it. Then start your Alpha 5100, go to Menu, Application, select Application List, and then select Smart Remote Control. And after that, you don't have to do anything. You can let the camera do its thing, and after a couple of seconds have passed, you will be up and running. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to leave a thumbs up, it'd be greatly appreciated. Any kind of feedback or comment is welcome and I'll try to answer. If you want to support the channel, check out the video description. There are some product links that might be interesting for you. In any case, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for watching and see you again soon.